hey what's going on you guys it's a little bit past one i just wanted to come on and give a quick little mini rant before i shut it down you guys so for all y'all that don't know or the ones that do know whichever one my husband works midnights marcus works at walmart as a manager now my husband is a very attractive man period i know this i married him i was attracted to him that's what attracted me to him in the beginning when we first got together so trust and believe i know that women is going to be women but it's becoming very 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 messy very messy so anyways my husband texted me about an hour after he had been on his shift that a co-worker from a different shift was leaving for the night she approached him and said that her friend wanted to talk to him in that type of manner not just speak with him but want to talk to him so he said that he wasn't interested and that he was married the girl goes off to tell him that the lady that wants to talk to him is aware that he's married but she doesn't care let me let me say that again i know that he's married but i don't care i'm not trying to you know be in a relationship i'm just trying to get the goods trifling trifling heifer okay number two she's married on top of it as well so i don't know what her motive is but it's trifling and i'm i'm irritated about it i'm very disturbed about it because the fact that you can be a woman and want what another woman have that's it that's nasty to me that's disgusting that's like eating from a complete stranger from a homeless person and you don't know where this person has been that's like doing something like that that's disgusting to me and then on top of it for you to be a so-called woman and she's about 40 years old for you to be acting like that that's extremely childish to me for you to disrespect your situation your husband i don't know if her husband is beating her i don't know what her husband is doing and i don't care to know but for you to be trying to dibble and dabble what's mine i have an issue with that like i have a strong issue with that i am far from being insecure because i know that my husband loves me and i love him and we're in love with each other we wouldn't have been together this long and built a family with one another if we didn't but i'm just so sick and tired of these messy ass females just not having any respect for my marriage period just not having no respect and because i am a regular walmart shopper and i do shop at his store because my husband works not even five minutes from me so yes i shop at that store and yes majority of the co-workers that works there know who i am so for you to even just sit up here and still want to dibble and dabble with somebody that's clearly not interested and clearly got something way way more worth and better than something that's up in that walmart super center okay have several seats boo several seats now some may call it oh you being childish and you taking it too far okay to each his own to think what they want to think but marcus knows how i am when it comes to my husband, I plays no game. I shut the scene down when it comes to him. When it comes to my kids as well, I shut the scene down. There is no getting past me when it comes to what's mine. So, to make a long story short, I told him basically, you know, you don't need, you don't even need to be talking to that girl. Period. You don't even need to be talking to her because for her to even come back and and tell you the message messenger girl whatever she want to be called delivering messages and you know that this man is married what type of respect do you have because if anybody comes to me trying to get me to go tell another person something and i know that they're married i'm not doing that i'm not going and putting myself in that that's messy that's trifling and that's disgusting women these days need to get a clue seriously need to get a clue and stop trying to go over go after what another woman have trying to take whatever somebody else got that is just trifling to me why can't us women be able to just get ourselves how we get it always got to be hating on the next female now my husband is attractive like i said before i know this i married him but at the end of the day he's married you know like me and marcus we we carry ourselves in a woman a man wife husband manner period we don't have we don't play that 
open communication, open door to what he needs to say to me and what I need to say to him. So when my husband texts me that and he knew that was going to upset me, even though I tried to hold my composure. And like I said, it wasn't the fact that the woman, the co-worker or whatever, it's not even the fact about that. Because like I said, my husband is a, a fine ass man, okay? So I appreciate when people, you know, give him compliments or whatnot. That lets me know that what I got is good. But that's all that you need to do. You don't need to go no further than that. No further than that. Women. Ladies. No shade to anybody on my channel. But just in general, you gotta do better. You gotta be, be you gotta do better. You gotta put them, them trifling, hoish ways to the side because you are entirely too old to be out here still playing these games. You are entirely too old. That is the reason why I am an introvert. Like, seriously, I go out too messy. I'd rather be at home under my man and under my kids instead of dealing with these delusional females thinking that they're going to get something that they don't have no competition with. There is no competition when it comes to me and my husband, okay? Because what me and him have, can't nobody break that down, period. I know him from the front of my hand to the back of my hand, okay? Period. Simple as that. So, you know, I just wanted to share that really quick. Like I said, it's a, it's a little bit past one, but that really disturbed me because I just feel like have some type of respect for yourself like seriously have some type of respect for yourself and you're 40 years old and you're still doing that and then you like i said you have no respect for your husband because she's married as well but you're 40 years old still trying to do that what are you trying to do recruit swingers because boo we don't swing that way we don't swing that way at all so touch was not yours like you may not see it fully see it but just picture it. He has a do not touch sign on him. Okay? With my signature all up and down that 6'3 size body. Boom. Don't play with me when it comes to my husband. Don't play with me. Because I'll shut it all the way down. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down and get my beauty rest. So, I can get up and start my day. When you guys see this, it will be probably late Saturday evening. Because this is, like I said, early talk to you guys tomorrow. Drop them comments below and let me know what do you guys think about these women these days that's being thirst buckets and don't know how to go and recruit somebody that's single or just period. Like, that's disgusting. Or try to handle the situation that they're in. Because if you're so unhappy with your marriage, if it's not going the way that you want it to go, or you're looking to, to spice it up, then you need to try other resources. But the way that she presented herself, no respect at all. None whatsoever. So that was about it. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So I know I said I was going to vlog yesterday, which was Saturday. Today is Sunday, but I didn't. Okay, I know I said, oh, I got to get my hair did. Whew, the struggle is real, y'all. The struggle is real. But I know I said I was going to vlog yesterday, but I didn't because I basically slept all day. I was caking with my husband, put it that way. So, I didn't pick up my phone because... I was getting that much needed quality time with him. And, you know, like I said, he has to work straight eight days. And he works midnight. So, that's pretty much what I did yesterday. And then I cleaned up my home. And had the towel on. Um... My home, and um, that was pretty much that yesterday. When I did get up, it was like kind of late when I did get up, so that's why I didn't pick up my phone yesterday. But I am getting my fruit. What the heck? 
okay. I am on my way. I have to walk out. I have to work today. So, but as soon as I get off or whatnot, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. I just wanted to let you guys know good morning and have a blessed Sunday today. Peace. What's going on, y'all? So, I'm praying that everybody had a good Sunday today. Um, today was a pretty relaxed day. Um, I ended up just coming home and just chilling. Lately, i just been feeling kind of like my body needs a break as far as um, like rest-wise. So, I didn't really vlog or anything today because it was really nothing to vlog about. So, But before I sign off, I just wanted to wish everybody a happy Sunday. You know, it's around 8.28. I'm probably going to be going to bed at around 9.30 so I can get up for work in the morning and get up to get these kids to school. So I pray that everybody has a safe evening. Wherever you guys are at, just be safe while doing so. And I'll talk to you guys throughout the week. Have a blessed evening. God bless.